On DC Music Rocks, we're shining a spotlight on the great songs, artists, and incredible people behind the DC region's local music scene. In 2008, Dustin, Mo Dustin Pett left Maryland to attend Johnson Wales University Denver campus. And while attending college, he worked at Moe's Original Barbecue Restaurant, Music Venue, and Bowling Alley as a pit master and a line cook. And that's where he learned he had a passion for music and food. After graduating, Dustin moved back home to Maryland and started working at Ram's Head Center Stage at Maryland Live Casino as an entertainment representative. And then at the same time, he started his first production and entertainment company where he booked shows with national and local acts in Baltimore venues. And from there, he became the talent buyer for Gypsy Sally's, and now he's at Hill Country. And Dustin believes that great music and delicious food is medicine for the masses, which that really speaks to my heart, sir. I, I, I love that, man. I, so thanks so much for being here, man. Oh, thank you. This is cool. Now, one thing, so right off the bat, I want to know about Hill Country. Where's the name come from? Well, it's based off of the Hill Country in Texas, which is the region around the capital, which is Austin, Texas. Got it. And that's called the Hill Country is the is the area around Austin? Well, that area and just generally just all around Austin based in the radius area. I yeah. see. That's it's the, the Hill name. Country, man. God, I've always wondered. It's the Hill Country in Texas around Austin. God, now I feel like my it's a, that's a mind-blown moment for me. Like, <laughs> wow, I get it now. Cool. Golly. And so now talk about your earliest memory with music. Where does this come from? Where does it start for you? Um... Well, you know, when I was a kid, my dad took me to see uh, the recreation of the Grateful Dead called The Dead at Merriweather, and I must have been 11 or 12 years old, and all I could remember was, I don't want to be here. Who are these strange people? Get me <laughs> out of here. When is this show going to be over? Why is it lasting uh -huh. four hours long? Yeah. And I left the experience with my brother being like, that was actually really fun. I started dancing, you know, and I enjoyed it, and I always played music as a kid as well. Nice. What did you play? Um, I started playing the saxophone, um, and then I ventured into guitar, and then I ventured into the bass guitar, a little dobro, um, now I just strum the guitar. <laughs> Wait a minute, if they don't know what a dobro is, describe that. Oh, well, it's a very complicated instrument that you put on your lap, and you use a metal component to it that's a slide, and you slide, and it's used a lot in bluegrass music. Oh, so this is that, it almost looks like a, maybe on your lap, but some people have it set up as a table. Well, that's a lap slide. steel. That's a lap steel, which is different than a dobro. Correct. All right, so you're going to have to Google this if you're really interested and get a, get a picture. That way you can get a picture of what a dobro is. Spell that. D-O-B-R-A. D -O -B -R -A. Dobro. Got it. And so now, and you said, so you're from Maryland. Describe where you're from in the D.C. region. Talk about that. Um, I grew up in Columbia, uh, just a little bit further away from Columbia. So right around Meriwether Post Pavilion. Got it. And that was, when you say grew up, it means born and raised, been there all your life until college when you went to Denver? Mm hmm Born and raised, uh, always lived there until 17, then moved to Colorado for about eight years. Wow. So you were there longer than, that's longer than just college. You stuck around for a little bit? I stuck around. I didn't want to leave. You got all that, that pit barbecue and what we were talking about, the, the pit barbecue and the, and the, and the music. Oh, man. I also worked at a comedy in. club, too. So I, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so I was... You know, I was, I was just living it up with entertainment. My friends were also working for concert venues. It was just a, a, a onslaught of free entertainment. Um, so That's every amazing. night was something. Yeah. God, I love it. And now, what about? T well, talk about you on the personal side. So outside of all this music stuff, what what other things are you into? You know, I'm actually really into going to new nature areas or hiking, you know, areas where there's trails. I usually go by myself, I crank some tunes up, and I walk, and I just discover nature. Wow, that's amazing. And what kind of music are you listening to when you're cranking those tunes oh, up? Oh, man, that's a tough question. Yeah? I got, I got to be honest, I have, I have a lot of uh, pride in new bookings that I, I do at Hill Country or whatever it is that I'm booking at the time, and so I start to obsess about some of the artists that I book, and I venture really deep into their discography. And that's what I'm usually cranking. I see, I make a little okay. Spotify playlist. But all their all their other stuff that they've got. Yeah, the stuff that wasn't the million hit song. Yeah. Right. The the one with the fewer plays. The where the B side tracks or the what they call it. They used to call it in the old days. That's amazing. Now describe a so funniest moment that comes to mind when you're thinking about your time specifically at Hill Country. At Hill Country, 
Um, so something that was really funny is uh, a pretty much like a Texas singer-songwriter legend. His name was John D. Graham. He showed up to the gig about 15 minutes late, but it wasn't really that late, you know. And he was so well, what does that mean? So the gig started at eight, and he started at, showed up at eight fifteen. He he showed up uh, a little bit after the doors, so you know sound checking was not an option. It was only line checking. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah sure. And, all right. Uh, he was super apologetic about it. I became kind of good friends with this guy, and uh, he left me a note on the wall in the green room. And he 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 has like child children's books. He makes children's books on the side. Whoa! And he drew like a, a polar bear looking bear. And he, and he wrote on there, he goes, I, I never miss a gig unless I'm in the hospital or I'm in jail. Love, pretty much, John D. Graham. <laughs> so, did you, <laughs> so did you find out whether he was in the hospital or in jail? Oh, no, he made it to the gig. He didn't, he, he just, oh, this was he just, just said straight that, up canceling. He just, wanted okay. to, he just wanted to reiterate that, uh, that uh, even if he was 15 minutes late, that he, he apologized and that, if he was ever to miss any gig that I ever booked, it would be those two reasons. Okay. And that he would pin it on Got the it. wall so that I would have it later. That way you my boss, always reference it. At, reference my back. boss framed it. It's on the wall downstairs in the club level at Hill Country, so you can go up and see it at any time. That's, <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my God. All right. Now, and so now you talked about so talk the different things that you do because we, it's come up in conversation that – you do some managing of artists, but then you're booking at Hill Country. So talk about the different aspects of Dustin. Um, so, I mean, firsthand, I'm a talent buyer. Um, yeah. I'm booking for Hill Country, Live, D.C., and Manhattan. Wait, there's more than one location? There's two locations, friends. Whoa. So if you're ever in New York City, you need a place to see either some really awesome live music that could be free, could be ticketed, but for the most part free. Okay. Come on down. Wow, Hill Country. Is it also a ba so it's a basement venue here in DC. You walk into Hill Country and go downstairs. Is it the same thing in D in same New York? Same model but bigger. Bigger? Bigger. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, next time I'm in New York, I'm gonna have to check out Hill Country. Okay. So you do booking I sorry, I got totally distracted <laughs> by the fact that there's now two locations. My mind is blown at the moment. Uh, so now we're getting so there's some talent buying for there and then what else? So I'm also managing a couple bands, and I also do some freelance work. I help people out who need guidance, and I sometimes donate my time for the most part, but uh, I'm managing a brass band out of Brooklyn named High and Mighty Brass Band. I'm okay. managing a bluegrass, new grass band out of Baltimore named the Dirty Grass Players. Yep. Um, Feel Free, which is yep. we were just talking about. Yep, and really I done. also help out an Almond Brothers tribute called the Almond Others Band. Wow. And so... And when you say managing, if people don't know what that means, what does that actually mean on a day-to-day -day basis? It's kind of like you have five full-grown babies that you're taking care of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, so it's like being a father. I see. It's like being a father okay. to a bunch of people who may be older than you, younger than you, all walks of life, and uh, yeah, you're controlling a lot of emails. So what on earth made you want to do that? That... I'm not sure if you don't have a kid already. I'm not sure I would sign up for multiple babies. I don't know. Tell I, me more. I guess passion, man. I, I just... Uh, you love the music that they're making? I like the human spirit behind them and the music they're making. And they push me to, to do things that I wouldn't yeah. do. And pull my hair out sometimes. Get a phone call at 2 in the morning. Hey, we're, we're playing a gig in the mud. And I don't know if we're getting paid. You know, bad oh. stuff. So, yeah. so, that, so that means you're the guy who's... So as the manager then... You are, you're not doing the booking, or you are doing the booking for the band. Or um, that's something else. So uh, the Dirty Grass Players, High and Mighty Brass Band, they both have booking agents currently, um, national booking agents. Um, feel free, they're independent. I help them out a little bit, but I'm teaching them. And then the Almond Others is kind of the same thing. They're very local. Um, they're trying to get out a little more. So if you live in a different town or know anybody and love Almond Brothers. Um, figure out a way to get a hold of me yeah so I'm trying to figure out then what you're saying so what are you doing for the bands as the manager then so uh, you know everything from advancing every show that they play to marketing on their Facebook updating their websites making sure they're making music videos discussing strategy about how can we get our name out there further in the different markets that we're trying to perform at I mean there you know it's an endless list of, of 
task, honestly. I, I, yeah. And I didn't realize it until I got knee constant, deep in it. <laughs> a constant, there's like a constant checklist of things you need. And you know, you mentioned music videos. Why are music videos important? You know, it's it represents what your band is and what you're trying to display to the world. And why can people relate to you? Oh, so it's that visual piece. It's a visual. Well, it's it's yeah. not just the music, but then it's like, oh, here's these guys. Yeah, it's, hey, who who is this band? Feel free, you know, what's the next feel free music video? I'm not going to tell you, but it's going to happen. Nice. Well, I'll make sure we share it whenever that does happen, because I'm excited about it. Their first videos were, I, I really enjoyed, I follow them on YouTube, too, and I've enjoyed what they've got so far, so that's a sign of things to come. You're teasing me, man. I love it. All right. Now, what about, uh, tell us about, well, one of my favorite questions that I always have to ask is if you could offer one piece of advice, what would it be? For bands? Or for in general, however you want to answer the question. Work harder, and then when you think you're tired, work a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say more. What, is that, what does that mean exactly? Are you talking, like, just do more? Or, like, I feel like that could be spinning your wheels. Put more energy like, out, man. Put okay. some more energy out into the world. That's, that's what I think. Uh, I think a lot of people want to achieve a lot in their life, but they're not putting the energy to do that. So, I see. you know, I'm a, I'm a big... Person, you know, person who believes in the idea of what you put out is what you get. Got it. All right, it's that hustle. Bring on that hustle. And now, one other fun question. Then, talk about your biggest success moment that comes to mind in your career for like the booking and uh, talent buyer wise. What comes to mind when you think about that? So uh, I would actually have to say the time I booked my Colorado legend band, Leftover Sam and Gypsy Sours. Definitely. Um, I remember when I booked that, I, I literally threw paper up in the air. I was like, it's happening. Leftover Salmon's coming to town at Gypsy Sally's. And, uh, you know, it's just an honor to book a band that I've seen at Red Rocks. You know? Nice. That is cool. And was there anybody around to see you throw paper? Is this like in the middle of an office with a few other people? Or is it in a room by yourself? Yeah, there was one other person in the room, the other booker there. Um, <laughs> so there's more than one? There is. There's, okay. Yeah. Well, I think there's more yeah, what's than one the, now. What's the, all right. What's, I would say, what's the team like at Hill Country? Hill Country, Hill Country is, um, I have a boss in New York. His name is Seth Rothschild. He's awesome. Um, and I, you know, he comes to D.C. here, there. I'm going to go up to New York. Um, but for the most part, I work with a bunch of restaurant managers. And I'm right. a talent buyer, so. All right. It, you know, it's a different situation than I, than I thought when I got in there, but I love it. And all the people I work for are some of the nicest people I've ever worked with. You know, that's been the really funny thing. Uh, the fun, funny is the wrong word. Really fun thing that I've discovered working in the local music scene is that there's so many amazing people in this scene. It's one of the reasons I love like having you on the show, and I, I always have different people on the show. It's not just the artists, right? There's so many people behind the music scene, and I love getting to know those people because they're some of the most amazing, salts of the earth, nice people. So, I mean, it, it makes sense that you, your coworkers at this place are also really awesome people because you're an awesome person and we got everybody together. This is cool, man. Yeah, it's kind of like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> it's a, one big happy family. <laughs> yep, there we go, the Brady Bunch. I'm going to try not to get the song stuck in my head. If you're listening, do not get the song stuck in your head. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. So, and one more time. So for those folks who want to follow you and what's happening at, uh, or well, find out what's happening at Hill Country and all that information, where's the best place for them to go find it? Um, you can either go to the Facebook, which is Hill Country Live is just the Facebook name, or you can go to www.hillcountry.com slash DC for the DC okay. venue. And if you, by chance, are in New York or have friends, www.hillcountry.com slash, wait for it, NY. <laughs> it's either DC or NY, but we're talking about DC on this one. So hillcountry.com yeah. forward slash DC, and you'll check out the work that, that Dustin's doing, setting up amazing shows. And the type of shows they'll see at Hill Country are? Uh, we go all over the place. Americana, folk, honky-tonk, bluegrass, alt-country. Like I mentioned, I had a tribute, all-metal tribute to the Bee Gees uh, called Tragedy. Um, oh, my God. So basically, if you ever thought cowboy boots were cool... Everything about Hill Country you're going to love. Pretty much, yeah. That's amazing. To a T. I love it. Oh my 